When applying fluoride varnish, you want to get the child in a safe and comfortable position. Turn the child around so she is facing her mother. Tip her back onto your lap and place her legs around mom's hips. Mom should hold her hands. Julia has no back teeth yet, so we will only need to apply the varnish to her front teeth. Dry the upper front teeth with gauze and paint on the varnish, covering all the teeth. Try to keep the tongue out of the way with your fingers. We're using cavity shield varnish here. Young children often cry when this is done, but this means their mouths will be nice and wide open. Now dry and paint the bottom teeth. Here, it would be helpful to use your finger to keep that tongue out of the way. When finished, clean her face and sit her up. Older children have more teeth and you will have to start by applying the fluoride varnish to the back teeth. Dry the teeth in the upper left corner of the mouth with the gauze and paint on the fluoride varnish. Be careful to hold the tongue and cheeks out of the way. In this case, we're using Enamel Pro Varnish. When finished, move down to the lower left corner of the mouth. Again, dry the teeth and hold the tongue and cheeks out of the way and paint on the varnish. Move across to the right side and do the lower and upper corners of the mouth. Frequently, we do not do the lower incisors as they rarely get cavities. As you paint on the varnish, make sure you cover all the tooth surfaces. Once the varnish is on, you do not have to worry if it get wet as it sets on contact with saliva. Paint the upper incisors last so that you do not accidentally wipe off the fluoride varnish as you work in the back of the mouth. 